Good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm not sure how you guys do on Saturdays. If you're a sleep-in kind of person on a Saturday or if you like to get up and get a lot of work done, um, normally I get to sleep in a little bit, but I had my grandson visiting and he spent the night last night. Well, when he spends the night, we sleep in the spare bedroom um, and I sleep in there with him so he won't get into things. He did not want to go to sleep. He was so wound up that he was wide awake till after 1 a.m. And he finally fell asleep and then I couldn't fall asleep. <laughs> I was so tired before that, but then I couldn't fall asleep. So I finally got to sleep at about two and he woke up at six crying for me because he didn't know where it was at. <laughs> So I had to go back <laughs> and I had gone out and slept on the couch. <laughs> so anyway, happy Saturday to you. I hope uh, you have something fun planned today. My husband and I are planning to go on a little date. We're going to go out to dinner and to the movies later. Um, so that's always fun. Good morning. I have a couple of you joining me this morning on a Saturday morning. I'm so glad you're here. So today's scripture is uh, John 716 John 716 good morning Barbara good to see you here so yesterday um, our scripture was Isaiah 55 11 so um, I showed you in the video yesterday that I just took I found this um, uh, picture on online that said word um, sent forth and all I did was cut it out and glue it in here um, because I didn't want to have to worry about drawing that one in there. So that's all I did yesterday. And then I wrote my thoughts about, um, about every word in the Bible being a, an assignment. Um, there isn't one word throughout the scripture that is useless or wasteful because God has a reason behind every single one of those words. So that's what I shared yesterday in case you missed it. Uh, make sure that you like this video after you've watched it so that you remember and so we know who's watched them too That helps me know if they're if they're being seen Okay, so today's scripture. Let me go and get this out of here today's scripture. Like I said was John um, 7 16 and let me read that to you what John 7 16 is whoops wait a second um, John 7 16 says Sorry, where's my paper for it? Here it is. <laughs> uh, Jesus answered, my teaching is not my own. It comes from the one who sent me. It comes from the one who sent me. So a little bit of history about this passage. So Jesus had been teaching during um, a festival and all the crowds were around him. So many of them were amazed at his level of teaching and they couldn't figure out how he could teach so well since they knew he had never gone to school for this type of teaching. Um, teachers usually teach about something they know or something they've experienced, right? And new teachers, even at times, stumble over their words or make mistakes in the information that they're giving. Jesus did not have any training. He didn't have any experience teaching others. He had come on scene after leaving his father's carpentry shop and he was able to teach. And he never even spoke before large crowds before that, yet he spoke with authority, didn't he? So Jesus wants all of us to know, including the people that reject him, that his words aren't the opinion of man. His words come directly from God, right? Jesus is more than just a prophet. He's more than just a teacher. Just because we know where he was born, and we know he didn't have any formal education does not mean we should discount him. His message is sacred. His ideas are heaven sent. The reason he could speak so well was because he was being led by God's Holy Spirit. God has no problem with speaking with authority, right? I mean, he spoke the word and the heavens were created. So as a believer, whether you're speaking to one person or a crowd, you must be willing to listen to what God has to say to you and speak the words of God in his way and in his time. And when you do speak, <clears throat> we need to speak with authority of God. Now that might sound like a bold statement, 
um, you know, that you and I can speak with the authority to God. But that's kind of the whole idea of the Great Commission, isn't it? Matthew 28, 18, which says, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. God knows exactly what each person needs to hear. And God allows the Holy Spirit to guide you in what you say. The inspired word of God, absolutely, Barbara, Barbara, the only book we have that is inspired. Absolutely, absolutely love it. Okay, so what else? What does this uh, passage say to you when you think of um, the way that Jesus came on scene and just, I mean, I even think about when he was a young boy and he went to um, the synagogue and was teaching then. He didn't, he, you know, they, they were amazed. They kept saying that they were amazed at how well he could teach when he was just a boy. Uh, you know, he, he, we don't know for sure the age, I don't believe how old he was, um, but he was just a boy. His parents were worried when they realized they couldn't find him. So yeah, definitely. Okay, so for today, um, I'm, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do. I started on my page. Um, all I did was I put the date today to so far this morning. I've just got the date, August 6, 2022. So let's, um, let's go ahead and share screen. And I, I apologize. I am not awake this morning. So it's John. Whoops, where's my mint? Let's go seven. John uh, 7, 16. So let's, uh, let's look and see what's there. Share. Okay, so John 7, 16. We'll see if there's any images in there that look good. Um, I'm assuming there's going to be lots of pictures of Jesus. Um, I'm not even going to try to pick, draw a picture of Jesus. <laughs> um, I could copy something like this and, and just uh, glue it into my book too. Here's one. Uh, um, Jesus died that I could live, his shirt says. Awesome. Um, I know God and I am from God and he sent me. I don't think that's the same. Oh, that's 729. Uh, this is 716. So there's not a whole lot of pictures here. Here's one right here. That one's cool. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to put in my, in my journal for today. What are you working on, Barbara? Are you going to be working on, um, uh, oops, I almost put the wrong thing. Are you going to be working on this scripture today or are you working on things, uh, whatever, whatever you decide calls to you for that day? Um, you can do, you know, your journal any way you want. That's the best part of it. I like this, the prompts so that I can think about what I'm reading. Um, I also read the rest of the scripture too, but I, I, I usually, when I'm preparing for this, I think about what I'm going to say. I look up the scripture before, be, after to figure out what the context of the ha actual scripture is. All right, that is it. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. It is supposed to rain most of today and for the next several days. Um, so I don't think we're going to be doing anything outside. <laughs> so maybe I'll get some work done inside. I know I can always have housework and things like that. Um, so I hope that you all have a blessed day. And we will see you tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. See you later. Bye-bye.